will we remember 2.0? I am in the same position as Tim, where you give a speech, and then you give it again based on feedback. When I first saw this in the manual, I rolled my eyes, I'm like, really, come on, but I actually love this, because you think of it differently. You, the feedback that you get normally, you're like, okay, I'm gonna apply it to another speech, but to redo the same speech you did, it's impactful. In fact, I really love it now. In fact, I hope there's more like this because it gives you a chance to fine tune, right? So when we write speeches, we practice and we're in our head and blah, 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 but we don't know how it's gonna come back to the audience or go out to the audience, right? And then you get that feedback and you're like, oh yeah, I kind of knew that when I was writing it, but I put it in there anyway. Like those are the kinds of things that you go through. So this type of thing gives you a chance to redo or fine-tune your speech. So when you get to that part, embrace it, because you're gonna love it. So, Tim, your speech, uh, there were three things that you wanted to work on, transitions, <coughs> conclusion, and opening. Your opening, you nailed it. I mean, we're in Kansas City and the Royals and you know everyone, even if you're not a sports fan, we all remember that. And that's an easy way, we had an emotional attachment to it, that's an easy way for us to think about what it is to be listening or emotionally engaged and to remember. Because your speech was about, hey, by two o'clock you're gonna forget half of what I say. As Toastmasters, we don't want that, right? We want you to remember, so how do you get that engagement? So because of your opening, um, emotional engagement is a way for us to remember. That's, that, that was a tie-in. You had three tips, distraction, uh, get rid of distractions, engage, and then solar. And those were tightened up also, right? So it, it was easier to remember. But I, and another good thing that you did, so you tighten that up. Another good thing is I love your phrasing. You have really good phrases. Lousy listener, dial up versus Google. I'm glad you kept that one in there because that was good. And gray noise, which is a, a different one. We all get a visual picture of that. Right? And so those are really, really good things to keep is visual language. So let's talk about some things um, to look for if you ever do the speech again in a different arena, et cetera, is the conclusion. You're worried about the conclusion. It seemed a little short. And I know that John, um, that, the, that the time was up. So maybe that, that was part of it. <laughs> uh, personal experience. So um, share how. So that gray noise story, that would be a perfect conclusion. Hey, we're in a noisy restaurant. Here's what happened so we can see how you've implemented it. It was a great speech and a great 2.0. Thank you. Thank you.